What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today is the 28th of October. I'm about to say November. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, this weekend is the road course um, at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So uh, something to look forward to uh, <laughs> this weekend. Two week two weekends off. Um, of racing, been kind of chatting with friends and uh, getting some important stuff done that uh, I've been meaning to work on, but haven't had the time due to racing. But now we're getting back and uh, very excited. The next two races are road courses. Uh, if you watched my previous video, uh, you'll know that um, that uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We've had all ovals this season. And it's just nice to do a little something different. But if uh, you watched the previous vlog or you know me personally, you know my road course racing experience. Um, started out doing rental go-karts at a Palm Beach Raceway or Moroso it was called uh, at one point. <clears throat> More people know it as Moroso instead of Palm Beach Raceway. But uh, yeah, did rental go-karts there. It was really good. It was a road course. Um, also got my first ever race car win at a road course in the Bandolero division uh, in the rookie class. And then uh, had a couple podiums and the top five finish at uh, Atlanta Motorsports Park and Atlanta Motor Speedway. So uh, definitely not bad at all. And then last year, um, I also finished uh, fifth and third in uh, the road course races. And that was at uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway as well. Um, which isn't bad, especially for the lack of road course racing experience I have in a competitive field. Um, and then on top of that, last year, I didn't know how to speed shift, so my feet were all over the place. Um, between the pedal, or excuse me, the gas, the clutch, and, uh, the brakes. So, now, now obviously, I've got a lot more experience underneath my belt, um, and I'm a little bit more prepared. I'm a lot more prepared actually going into this weekend. So, um, yeah, just got to take what I've learned, take what I've uh, all, you know, take some of my experience from the road course and take it, take some of the new things that I've learned and put it onto the course and then just see where we stack up at that point. Uh, I think we should do okay. I think we should do pretty good for the most part. But uh, I'm not going to call it, I'm not going to, you know, jump to conclusion just yet. I uh, want to see how I stack up in my class and uh, everywhere else. So hopefully we'll have a good weekend and uh, I'll try to film as much as possible. Um, hopefully you guys, you guys will enjoy the video. And uh, like I said, I'll try to keep you updated. I'll try to film as much as I can um, on my end, reporting on the car or uh, what the, what happened in the race, you know, while we're all in the garage and doing all that stuff so hopefully i'll give those updates to you uh to you guys shortly and uh yeah so uh we leave thursday which is tomorrow um gonna go to my grandfather's hunting camp for a little bit you know kind of enjoy that uh love hunting um a lot of people actually don't know that uh we go buck hunting uh around october november and uh yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to film a little bit of that, uh, film a little bit of my mornings and uh, other stuff like that, traveling. But uh, yeah, and I'll cut right to the chase, uh, let you guys enjoy the video. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and you'll get to see a pretty cool, pretty fun weekend, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a really fun weekend. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I'll try to update you guys as much as possible throughout the weekend. So we are at the hotel in Atlanta. Uh, got here. Oh man, it's oh man, so much time passed by. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're here in Atlanta. We're gonna go grab dinner. Race day is tomorrow. Uh, a lot of activity in the woods. Um, as you saw, I kind of filmed a little bit uh, while hunting, 
and uh, saw a good bit. Saw a buck, uh, several does, which is a female deer, and then a buck is a male deer. Uh, for some of you that maybe aren't as familiar with hunting, um, but it was uh, it was definitely good. Very active. Uh, fortunately, uh, I didn't I didn't get the buck. I'm, unfortunately, it just moved right as I got ready. So it's whatever. But uh, yeah. Uh, race day is tomorrow. We're going to go grab some dinner uh, at a restaurant right across the street. And then uh, we'll wake up and we'll be back in the car turning left and right. So hopefully that'll go well. Um, I don't know if I said I was going to make it a, a two-part vlog, but uh, decided to make the road course races just one big uh, vlog instead of editing, you know, two separate vlogs that are basically back-to-back. -back. So, yep, um, recap on Atlanta Motor Speedway. Definitely was not our day. Uh, didn't get to make any good laps in practice. Uh, only made the pace lap in a uh, half hour practice session um, before we blew a fuse coming out of one of the corners and I think I had a pretty decent lap going too so that was unfortunate um, and then going into another round of practice uh, we blew another fuse and we thought it was the fuel injector it wasn't um, and we I don't know what we did exactly with the with the car, but we gave it our best shot. We thought we found the problem, and in which I think we did for that race. Um, started in the back, I think back in like 12th, I believe. I don't know, I haven't checked the official results, but yeah, started in the back, made my way up to the front, or towards the front, but um, yeah, I got, uh, uh, one of my competitors was racing me really hard, which I don't have a problem with, and then on top of that, in the beginning, of the race, uh, this was before me and the other competitor race, but, um, yeah, we raced, uh, I made some really stupid mistakes that I'm truly embarrassed by, honestly, um, but yet that's just because of lack of practice and a lack of road course racing experience, but, uh, you know, it's all, in the end, it's all in preparation for Atlanta Motorsports Park, which is a national event, uh, world finals, so, uh, it just kind of gives me a little bit of a better understanding, but still, you know, we could have easily, uh, you know, walked out of there with a top three or a top five, finished sixth, just outside the top, just outside the top five. But, uh, there's room for improvement. You know, I've uh, been really looking at footage for Atlanta Motorsports Park, uh, to really study and, uh, help me going into the event. And uh, I think I got a good idea of what I need to do. It's just a matter of me uh, going out on track and doing what I need to do. Um, if I do that, I think I'll be in good shape. But, uh, yeah. Uh, get but, yeah, right now I am getting packed, going to get ready. Uh, going to be very cold in Dawsonville, Dawsonville, Georgia. That is where um, Atlanta Motorsports Park is. And to say the least, it's an incredible facility. Last time I went there, uh, <laughs> was in a bando about two years ago. Lost brakes in practice. That was that was scary for I think thirteen year old me. <laughs> and then um, yeah, and then we kept continuing uh, doing what we're doing. I think we finished sixth, fifth in class, so it wasn't terrible, but could have been improved, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's behind me, way behind me, actually. Uh, now I'm ready to get going to Atlanta Motorsports Park and uh, have a 
really, really fun uh, three days up there. I've got a lot of friends that are coming up out of state um, as well, coming from North Carolina, Kentucky, South Carolina, uh, New Hampshire even. I mean, they're coming from all over to do this. So uh, really excited to get to see those guys again and to have the opportunity to. A lot of these guys I don't get to see uh, very often, if not at all. So uh, definitely going to be nice to catch up with those guys and uh, get to talk with them and, uh, you know, go out there, have some fun. Uh, depending on where we are in practice, uh, as of right now, my goal is to finish top five. And uh, before I forget, we did figure out the problem with the car. Uh, it should be good when we go up there tomorrow, uh, heading to the airport. Uh, six o'clock in the morning, early commute, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna fly over, and then we're gonna have a whole day of practice. Next day is gonna be qualifying, and then Sunday is the race, and then um, we're gonna be traveling somewhere else. Nobody, not a whole lot of people know about this, so um, by the time it's released, everybody's gonna know about it by now. But uh, yeah, I got something big. Uh, uh, the next the day after uh the race so uh it's really exciting um uh, thankful to be able to go and and do that what i'm about to do and i'll try to film and vlog as much as i can with it um it's uh man it's just going to be an incredible weekend i'm really looking forward to it and i uh, can't wait to see uh a lot of my friends and uh, i get to race with some of the uh some of the best in the nation, really. So looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue packing. And, uh, yeah, on to the airport the next morning. Just finished uh, P3 in the heat race, E2. Uh, good run. Uh, couldn't be happier with it, really. We were right up there in the mix. Uh, the starting starting spot for second. So uh, really happy with it. Uh, Going to be starting P6 in the feature, and uh, should be a good run. We practiced good. Got a lot of speed out of it. Ran some fast times in the heat race, so. Really happy with it. Looking forward to the race. So it is Sunday morning. It's race day. Um, we're gonna have one practice before uh, all the features start, and then we'll have the feature race. I think it's gonna be like a 10 lap race. It's a very, very long road course. So <clears throat> you won't see uh, you won't see us going like uh, doing crazy laps. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be starting P6 on the grid. Um, I think if we just keep it on track and do what we did in the heat race, we'll be, uh, we'll be just fine. And, uh, we'll be able to run up front, hoping for a top five or a top eight at least. And then, uh, just see how that goes and hopefully we'll keep it on course, hit our marks and do what we got to do.
uh, first and foremost, uh, recap on the race. Um, it was uh, it was up and down. You know, we uh, qualified seventh, which was really good. Then uh, then we got up to third before getting clipped from behind, dive bombed basically. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, had to start in the back twice. Um, made our way up through the field and we still finished ninth. Uh, even though that doesn't sound uh, as great, there was definitely a couple of takeaways. Uh, gained some more points in the championship for the final, heading into the final race uh, for the Fall 5 Championship at Atlanta. Uh, we got the Oval Race December 5th. So uh, looking forward to that, looking forward to trying to uh, claim the championship. Uh, had a really fun battle. Uh, was not going to be denied in that race after what had happened. I knew we had a top 10 car, uh, you know, top five even, and that showed with me running in the top three um, against a bunch of great, great drivers. Um, yeah. I mean, we was, uh, it was still a solid weekend, and then we ran the fastest we ever ran in the second race, uh, or in the in the race, uh, the second fastest lap. So uh, that's that's awesome. Really proud of the effort, and uh, we'll continue to uh, develop and uh, just hopefully have some more smooth races heading into the final final race of the year. And then finally, um, today, I finished up uh, what you saw uh, already was my late limited late model test at Hickory Motor Speedway, the one and only. Um, wow, I mean, I I'm so tired uh, <laughs> from four straight days of racing, four straight days of being in the race car. Um, we did really good. We were only a 10th off of, uh, the guy that won the last poll or, uh, the poll of the last race at Hickory. So, uh, we ran really good. We ran really consistent. Uh, can't thank, uh, my family enough and, uh, light motorsports as well as, uh, Josh, Josh Hicks, Scott Mosley, um, HMY Yacht Sales, Crawford Garage Doors, and, uh, all the people that helped make this possible. Uh, an incredible, incredible uh, weekend. I can't thank everybody enough. Uh, we're going to be flying out here uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so, yeah. Got to rest up. And then uh, soon we'll be on our way back home to Florida. And uh, we'll have some time off in between. So I'll be able to relax, have some fun, uh, focus on what I need to focus back at home. And, uh, yeah, until the next vlog, until the next race, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed uh, this video. And uh, until the next one.